In today's video, we're going to be discussing the touchscreen PLC control of Sioux Corporation's brand new SF100 steam generator. Stay tuned! The SF100 has an abundance of features, including the brand new PLC touchscreen controller. Let's take a closer look. The most important control on the touchscreen is the master on off button in the corner. This turns the machine on and off. The middle portion of the screen shows the machine's status. If you tap it, it takes you to the diagnostics menu, but we will cover that a little bit more later. In the upper left corner of the screen shows the date and time. Tapping it allows you to manually adjust. It is important to set the time correctly to ensure the scheduling function of your controller works properly. Next, let's take a look at the mode section. There are three different modes you can choose. First is schedule mode. This mode allows you to set a custom operation schedule for your machine. This feature will turn the machine on and off and change the hold pressure based on your program. Next is hold mode. In this mode, you manually turn the machine on and off with the master button and control the pressure with the master pressure setting. Lastly is override mode. This mode is intended for diagnostic purposes only. There's no set pressure available on the touchscreen as it is only controlled by the mechanical limit chain. Continuing on, the center section of the screen will display either your steam pressure or your incoming water pressure. Toggle between the two by tapping the display toggle. The display can be toggled between a digital or graphical interface to suit your preference. Lastly, the burner status displays burner parameters. When you are in override mode, additional controls are unlocked allowing you to turn the burner on and off and change between low and high firing modes. Now that we've covered the home screen, let's dive into the settings menu. The first menu option is home, which simply takes you back to the home screen. Next, the machine status menu shows diagnostic information as mentioned earlier. With the burner page highlighted, current burner status is displayed. You can check faulty history or reset the burner from this page. The feed water page shows information regarding your incoming water. If your system has a feed pump, additional parameters will be displayed. The limit page displays the safety limit chain. This is a digital representation of all safety controls on the steam generator. If the control has power, it is displayed green. If the control does not have power, it is displayed red. A flashing red indicator pinpoints where the limit chain is broken. Each safety device indicator can be tapped for additional information. The steam page shows the steam output set point and actual pressure. The pressure controller graph shows the steam demand. As the steam demand drops, the burner will switch to low fire mode and eventually turn off. The schedule menu allows you to configure custom operation schedules for the steam generator. For information on configuring your schedules, refer to your operator's manual. Tap the wrench icon to access the maintenance menu. This page shows the operating hours and cycles of the burner and pump if applicable. Maintenance schedules and reminders can also be set up within this menu. The configuration menu is used to access advanced function controls. These parameters can be used to fine tune the steam generator to your specific application. For most applications, we recommend using the factory settings. Finally, the information menu contains Sioux contact information as well as details about your specific machine. Reference this page should you ever need service or tech support for your steam generator. If you have any questions about the SF100 and the PLC touchscreen controller, feel free to contact us. Our contact information is in the description below. Thanks for watching.